Okay, you'll have to pardon my voice. I'm fighting a cold, but I wanted to show you guys this. I've been working on a new thing for the bobbin motors uh, that I've been building. And it's a partial magnetic levitation for the rotor. And uh, it's not full levitation, it's partial, because there is a contact point over here on the side. And normally they run a full levitation on both sides. It shoves up and it shoves this way. And there's a needle point right here against the glass mirror to levitate it. <clears throat> I've seen it done several different ways. Uh, Johnny Davro ran his um, motor like this. And then Sky Collection's got one. And uh, Scooter Scotty's got some real nice uh, videos on how this is set up. But this was my um, what I came up with the last few days. Now these are my other little bobbin motors. And you can see I've got several different designs. And you can see the... Uh, the rotor wandering around there. And this is one of the irritating things about these little spinner motors is trying to get that rotor stabilized so that the um, output and uh, drive off of it is constant and it's a delicate balance um, to do that so I wanted to go to something that was more fixed and I like this setup. Now you can see Maggie's eyes are on real bright and this is a, a bobbin motor but it's running on the uh, light uh, uh, multiplier circuit. It's not the bobbin Bettini circuit. It's the light multiplier. But you can see I've eliminated the magnet on this side that holds it up. <clears throat> and it was by accident, one of these accident deals. And I discovered through trial and error that if you put a little ball bearing on the end of that shaft and some magnets stuck on a um, piece of copper, one on one side of the copper, one on the other side of the copper in attraction, and put a piece of plastic as a bearing point that works just as good as trying to levitate that that uh, part of the shaft now this side over here is completely levitated uh, underneath the tape there are two magnets pointing up south the uh, side of that magnet this way is south so you have repulsion there you see that bobble around that's being suspended by the magnetic flux line south to south right here now the main rotor is diametrically magnetized north and south on the sides. And you have to be careful you don't get that too close to that because it won't run. And that was a whole other day's work right there. But what's going on down here I found very interesting that I could eliminate the support on that end of the shaft if I just stuck it against a magnet and uh, used a very good bearing surface right there. Because on these partial magnetic levitations they do have a contact point. It's a little needle point right there against a glass mirror usually. And that's how they run. So anyway, this was the latest thing I wanted to share. Was This is my partial magnetic levitation for the rotor using the uh, bobbin motor setup. Maggie seems to like it. Thanks for watching.